Hello there, Scorpio, and welcome back to another reading with me, uh, Soulful. I almost call myself careful. What does it mean? <laughs> all right, Scorpio. Down below the description box, you'll find all the information you need, including links to the extended email, etc., etc. All that is down below. All right, how you doing, my beautiful Scorpions? I appreciate all of you who are supporting my channel and have been supporting my channel for quite some time. I love you guys. My shout outs to all of you. I appreciate all of you that have booked readings with me and who continue to come back and always watch. I just want you guys to know that I appreciate you and your comments, okay? All right, the sword for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, possibly Venus sign. If you feel like this love situation relates to you and Scorpio is in your Venus, okay? Let's see what we have for love and life this week. What is going on for Scorpio in love and life this week? Okay, we've got four of wands. Swords and the star. We're going to take all four of these. So Scorpio, hmm, interesting. I feel like you guys are trying to work something out with somebody this week here with the four of wands and the knight of coins. I feel you're getting blocked communication. You guys may actually be being stalked by an air sign here quite possibly. We have uh, Aquarius energy uh, here. Some Somebody is... Wow, Scorpio. I really feel like is somebody being here... Somebody is being more sneaky here than you. Okay, and I feel like you guys want to fix something. You want to make it work. But I feel like there is a discontent, okay, in this in this relationship or with this person. Somebody is definite I'm definitely getting the the social media stalking here with these two cards, okay? This is a person who's uh, not very good at strategizing, but they're trying. They're trying. They're, they're examining your social media. I feel like you're just working, getting shit done, okay? But you want to you wanna fix something with this very same person. You want to talk to them. You want to communicate with them. You want to present to them something to actually fix this here. This um, sadness or disappointment between both of you. Someone really likes to watch Scorpio. Like, you have a big-time stalker, okay? You have a big-time spy. Uh, I feel like... Like, I don't think they actually have things set up in your house or anything like that. I think this is literally somebody... They can't talk to you. They can't talk to you. They don't want to talk to you. They don't know how to talk to you. You could be dealing with someone who's much younger than you and doesn't know how to communicate with you what it is they need to say to heal this situation, I get a feeling that you just, you're picking up on this person too, Scorpio, because I'm picking up on their energy. It's like there's something they want to say, there's something they need to say and get off their chest, but they're not. And you're just there sitting pretty like, I'm ready for whatever it is you want to say. I'm ready to hear what you want to get through, but you're not. They're not for some reason. And... <sighs> Why do I feel like I keep getting drawn to this sword here? Okay, the sword, like, it's it's sticking out to me like this person may be... They may be someone you also see on social media who does, like, backhanded comments or something along those lines. Like, you can tell they're trying to get back at you. Excuse me, they're trying to get back at you for something they can't heal, but they're doing it in a sly way. You know that person that... Like, really, seriously, nobody gives a crap what you're posting on your social media, right? But, you know, this this seems like the kind of person that they post something passive-aggressively, uh, hoping that you'll see it, okay? And hoping that you, they'll get a reaction out of you without actually talking to you. But you guys are kind of, you're just, like, standing firm here. You're standing firm despite the fact that there's not a lot of happiness happening in the moment. So, 
Let's start pulling for clarity. Let's see what you're dealing with. I, I'm getting a sense of harbored emotions, someone harboring emotions for you, Scorpio, and not coming forward and speaking um, to you about it. Or they're just, they're holding back too much. They may have some self-worth issues here with the star card in reverse. Like they, maybe they don't know how to say what they want to say. Okay, let's take a look. Tell me about the uh, four of wands this week. The four of wands. Three of Cups. You're willing to fix this. Okay, Scorpio, I feel like you're ready. Okay. <laughs> this could be a friend or a family member. And if it's not, this is actually someone you love. Um, you're willing to work something out. This could be a group dynamic where more than one person, maybe someone's jealous of you. Okay. Maybe someone's got a little bit of a, like an envious vibe going on, but you're ready to work out whatever happened. Okay. You want this to work out. Be, and it could be more than one person that you're dealing with here, maybe even two air signs. But for the most part, this speaks of you wanting to bring it from a place of disappointment to a place of happiness. You just want to enjoy what you could possibly have. But I feel like you're dealing with someone who likes to make things worse than what they are with this page of swords in reverse. Yeah, you don't want any more stress. Okay, you're tired of the stress. You're ready to move through it. Get out of the anxiety. Like... Let's just do something about it this week. I just want to do something about this. I'm tired of whatever this drama llama land is. Let's just get it. Let's work this out. You know, disappointments happen, right? Life is full of disappointments and things that we cannot control. There's a lot of this um, in this energy. I'm feeling like someone is utilizing social media or utilizing like crappy texting. Just it's, it's not nice. It's not nice. Okay. We have King of Cups. Very beautiful energy here. You're being very mature about this, Scorpio. Okay, you're kind of like, this is, this is your energy here. We have not only a Knight of Pentacles, which is someone who's willing to work on something and move forward and be patient with it and deliberate. And you may even be a little defensive towards this person because of whatever happened between both of you. But I think that you're trying to keep your emotions out of it. Like you're not putting as much in and you're holding on to what it is that you want to say until you actually get the opportunity to say it. Heck, you guys may even be the ones who are like, I'm not going to say anything to this person until they're ready. Okay, I'm not saying anything until they're ready to come forward and actually work this out in a very mature manner. Okay, you're waiting for your prospective person here to actually just shit or get off the pot. Okay, what else do we have? Yeah, page of cups. You're offering, someone here wants to offer an apology I'm hearing. Okay, someone wants to apologize. Someone, it could be you, it could be that you know that this person needs to apologize to you. It's kind of like they're having a conversation here, okay? The the King of Cups is talking to the Page of Cups, is offering something. He's like, well, you know, I'm sorry for what happened. Um, Let's work this out. You know, I've got a lot of emotion here for you, but I'm not going to... You're not going to let anyone shake you is what I'm hearing. You're not going to let them shake you. You're not going to let them shake how you feel about the situation. You want an apology or that you want to apologize to them. Either or, there is an opportunity for this here. Let's see if this person wants to actually take this. So let's take a look at our Page of Swords energy. Tell us about the Page of Swords, please. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Things are going very well for this person. I get, I get this vibe. Um, they're not, yeah, things aren't going so well. The hermit in reverse. They've isolated themselves from this situation. Okay. And they're, instead of moving things forward, you're dealing with someone who is causing massive resistance towards healing the situation with you. Um, yeah, you know, I, I feel like, until this person decides to stop isolating from you what it is that needs to be said and start actually healing, healing the situation, they're going to continue being selfish. Let's get some stuff here on the star card for this the near the end of the week. I don't know if you're going to be I don't know if you're going to be dealing with someone who actually wants to heal. Okay. Oh, would you look at that? Six of Swords. So you know what? I feel like Scorpio. Two two things here. First one is this person may near the end of the week actually kind of get out of their home, home, whatever this is, and decide to actually improve the situation with you. 
and decide that they want to move forward and get out of whatever this energy is. There's also a possibility here of you just saying, fuck it. I'm out. Okay? There's a possibility of you just saying, you know what? I can't control whatever's happening here. If this person wants to communicate, they will. Um... But you may turn your some of you may turn your back on the pettiness. You see, you see what I'm saying. But look at that. We got three of pentacles. So first message, I'm kind of leaning more towards some of you. They're actually gonna want to work this out with you. Once they realize that they're not actually healing anything at all, there's a possibility of them coming forward here with the three of cups and at the start here, ending with the three of pentacles and basically coming full circle and saying, you know what? I'm being an ass, okay? So let's talk. Let's talk this out. Yeah, someone wants to definitely talk this out, you or them, and someone wants to apologize. Someone wants to um, tell you they, they actually care, okay? And I feel you're handling this very, very well, Scorpio. You are. So for the bottom of the deck, your challenge is the Three of Swords in reverse. This is moving past the pain. Okay, and like just getting through it. Somebody has been hanging on to the pain for far too long and it's caused a lot of da uh, damage and drama. Yeah, they may have been defensive here. Okay, feeling like they needed to defend themselves against you or other people. Um, the moon in reverse. So there is going to be some clarity coming through. Someone's going to get out of that land. So let's see what we have here for what they would say to you. What would your person say to you right now based on this situation? What would Scorpio's person say to them right now based on this situation? What would Scorpio's person say to them right now based on this situation? I feel like we are meant to be together. So for some of you guys, this is this is a person that you, you're trying to get them to open up emotionally so that they can communicate with you and you guys can move to some something better. Maybe there was a heartache between both of you. Maybe you guys split up, separation. But you may feel like you're meant to be with this person and you want things to work out, okay? You want things to be calmer. Um, so yeah, let's see what else we have. What else would they say? You help to center me. Hmm. Take that or leave it. Take it how you want it. Maybe without you here with the star card in reverse, this person feels like lost. Okay. We have, can we start over and make things right? <laughs> so leaning more towards things kind of near the end of the week working out for you guys. What else do we have? I'm afraid of this connection with you. Wow. So that could be why this person is currently in this Page of Swords energy. They may be afraid of what's actually happening in this connection with you guys. Like, they're scared of it, and so they may be lashing out. But I do see things moving in a calmer direction here in the future. And definitely you guys wanting to work things out. So let's pull some Romance Angels. What do we have? What do we have for Romance Angels here? Scorpio. Heart to heart conversations. Yeah, that's that, that's something somebody's going to definitely reach out and apologize here with this page of cups. Okay, there's going to be a really good conversation I feel between you and this person eventually here and especially with this 3 of pentacles, free yourself. Okay? So um, it's time to take back control of your life. This person, your this situation, this person needs to get back in control, take the driver's seat. You may feel like they need to free themselves with this hermit card in reverse from whatever garbage they've been like mulling around in and isolating themselves from you with. One more. Deception. <laughs> <laughs> person's wearing a false mask yeah there's deeper feelings going on here I feel um and this person is covering up like I said I feel there's a lot of social media back and forth passive aggressiveness kind of happening between you and your person here and um they are hiding behind the social media 
Yes, Scorpio, they are. Oh, that's good. All right. So let's get you guys two Moonology cards and then feel free to follow me down below for the extended if you want to know more about your person here. Adjustments are required. <laughs> so that could be how you look at the situation here, Scorpio. Are you dealing with someone immature? Are you dealing with someone who hides away when there's conflict or is hiding away from you because they can't understand their own feelings, especially if you're dealing with a page of cups here? Someone who maybe has a hard time apologizing. Um, this person may need to adjust themselves, all right? Like take a look at how they handle love situations or friends and believe in the impossible. Yeah, things are definitely happening. They're shifting right now for you and this person around you okay things energies are supporting which i feel an apology um and we want to get out of this wheel of fortune in reverse okay this person's causing like they're resisting things they're resisting what is to be it's like when the wheel of fortune is in reverse it's like someone who purposefully right now is resisting this connection resisting working things out for no reason when the universe is like uh we're here to support you. You know what I mean? It's it's that kind of individual. They they just resist for the sake of resisting. Maybe because of immaturity. Okay? All right. Scorpio, I will see you in the extended. <laughs>